Wolf spiders are most often misunderstood, and many fear them because they do look incredibly frightening. But wolf spiders, while capable of biting, rarely do, and on those occasions when they do bite, the bite is not typically dangerous, even though they do carry a venom. Unless you are a very small critter or insect, that bite will be more of a nuisance than harmful. Many times wolf spiders are confused with brown recluse spiders, which are dangerous. But the difference is that recluse spiders climb walls and spin webs, while wolf spiders remain pretty much floor bound. They also do not spin webs at all. In fact, the only silk wolf spiders spin is that spun by the females, which protects their nursery of eggs carried at the base of their abdomen. When the eggs hatch, the children look exactly like their parents, except in miniature. They'll climb onto their mother's back and remain there with her for several weeks before going off to hunt on their own. Wolf spiders have eight eyes, eight legs, and two body parts, the thorax and the abdomen. A wolf spider also will shed its skin several times as it grows to an adult. The only time you'll see a wolf spider indoors is when it has gotten in there by mistake. But don't kill it. Simply scoot it into a box or container and put them back outdoors again. Wolf spiders are extremely valuable to humans and to lawns, bushes, and gardens and residences because they are highly skillful hunters and hunt down the other pests like cockroaches, the ones that do bite and sting us, and the pests that destroy our crops, our trees, and all of our other plants. Even in my videos here, you can see that my little lady wolf spider is afraid of me. She even covers up her face with her front legs. They are often more terrified of us than we could possibly be of them. They do also make good pets for observation and for people who handle them with care. They seem to do quite well in captivity. After filming my little girl, I put her outside so she can protect my house. On the other side of the coin, we have something that is very different than the wolf spider. In fact, the only reason that I found this little guy was because I was looking at a very tiny chip of wood under a microscope. There's not a lot known about these kinds of spiders because they are so very small. They are microphantid spiders or dwarf spiders. This one is about the size of a sharpened pencil point. I was too large for this little guy to be even concerned about me. I'm sure that all I'd look like was a huge gigantic piece of dark sky. He's spinning a web. He's getting wet, ready to trap uh, prey and I can't even imagine how tiny his prey must be. For as large and seemingly frightening the wolf spider is, this little guy wouldn't be noticed by anyone. From the largest spider to the smallest spider, spiders are extremely important to our ecosystem and even to us. They keep the pests that really are dangerous to us under control.